Hi. In this video, we're going to look at a more complex version of the if statement. So this is called multiple conditionals. And let's start off with the example here that you see in front of you, where we're going to ask for an integer. We're going to get an age, and then we're going to ask what day of the week it is. And we're expecting the user to put in Monday, to when, Thursday, well, you know, etc. So we're not checking for errors here. We're just expecting that the user can type things well for simplicity's sake. But the question we want to ask here is, should you be in school? So if you were to ask um, a child on a Wednesday at 11 o'clock, why aren't you in school? You're going to have to go through several different pieces of uh, a logic puzzle to answer that. And hopefully the child has a good answer. But let's make some rules. So let's pretend that we're going to diagram our question. Uh, why aren't you in school? So first of all, we have a zone of our population called school age. So those are children between, let's say, ages 5 and 18. How about if you're not inside the blue circle? That means you're not school age. Either you're too young or you're too old. And so typical school age children are in the blue zone. Then the second question is, what about the weekend? And so a weekend is also an exemption why you don't have to go to school. So here in the United States and probably most places, you go to Monday through Friday as your school days. And so a weekend gives you an exemption. There are essentially 52 nice holidays in a year, right? And so we can say that outside of the red circle is not the weekend. So what about this overlapping thing? If you're a school-aged child and it is the weekend, then you are allowed to skip. So it says there is no school for the youth. So that's the logic that we're trying to capture here. So what would that look like if we were to write it into a statement in computer logic? So we could ask the question, first of all, only about the age. We could say, uh, is your age greater than five? And is your age less than 18? So that's two conditions that have to be met at the same time. So the double ampersand symbol is for and. If, if the conclusion is that both of those things are true, then you're a school-aged child and you should be in school. The opposite then is true. So if you're not supposed to be in school, we can just do an else statement and say, no school for you. So I run the program. So the first thing that it does is ask me for my age. Let's say I am age 12. And so what day is it? I don't think that's relevant, but I'm going to put in Monday. And it says you should be in school. So based only on my age, it says you should be in school. Let's make sure that still works. I'm going to try it again. And this time I'm going to put in four. And uh, it doesn't matter what day it is. So I'm just going to put in some junk. And it says no school for you. So it appears that my if statement for the age is working correctly. Now how about the second condition about the days of the week? So if a student is on the weekend, they should have no school, right? So how do we do that? We could have more complex statements here inside of this if. We could have some more ors and ands and parentheses and try to make it all work. And we'll eventually get there. But most beginning programmers simply start nesting their if statements. Let me give an example. So I'm going to write the nested if statement as this way to say if the day is equal to sat or the day is equal to sun, then we're going to say no school for you. And notice when we do an equals, uh, we are doing a double equal sign, which means we are comparing values. If you do a single equal sign, that is an assignment. And so it's very tricky if you aren't aware that that's a thing in programming. So double equals means check to see if it is equal. So in this case, uh, we're going to check to see if your age is greater than 5 and less than 18. And then I'm going to ask about the day. So we probably want to put this statement about you should be in school as an else statement down here. Now, this logic is already somewhat confusing to me. If I were uh, going to evaluate your program as a teacher, I would say this probably works, but there's a better way. Let's, let's see if the first statement's true. This probably works. Let's try it out. So what is your age? My age is 8, and the day is Wednesday. It says you should be in school. Let's try it again, and I'm going to ask a different age, and then I'm going to say the day is Sunday, and it says no school for you. So logically, it appears that it's working. 
Uh, let's just ask about uh, your age. I'm going to say I'm 90, and it doesn't matter what day it is, so I'll say Monday, and no school for you. So the logic is good. The uh, way that it's written is not so good. This is a rather uh, messy piece of code. So let's, let's fix it. So I'm going to delete all that stuff that we were doing with uh, the nested if statement. And instead, I'm going to add some more. So let's see if we can uh, just put another statement in here. So I'm going to ask another condition to say, if you're within school age and the day is either Saturday or the day is Sunday, uh, then, hmm, then we should uh, be not in school, right? So what I want is the negative now. So if I'm going to say it's the weekend, and I'm going to then turn it into a not. Okay, so that's the opposite. So what is the opposite of the weekend? It's a weekday. So this statement now says, check for your age to be in the range of a school child. And if it is not Saturday or not Sunday. Okay, there's also a suggestion here uh, that says you could make your statement simpler using a range. Let's check to see what that looks like. So isn't that nice? A range check says age is in and then it has six with a less than or equal sign uh, with a dot dot which means this is a range so actually um, my logic should say 5 to 18 right so I had a flaw in my logic before did you catch that by the way so now it says um, if you're if you're in school age and it is not a weekend you should be in school let's see if that runs Okay, so my age is, uh, let's say, 14, and the day is Friday. You should be in school. Now let's try it again. Let's say the day is, or the age is 14, and now the day is Saturday, and there's no school for you. Okay, so it looks like we've done another version of our uh, logic, and this one seems to work as well. I'm going to turn this logic around now and do it a little differently. So let's get out this range. And um, actually, I thought it was going to be more like this, where the, what I'm used to doing is a range that is typed out like in just a parentheses, and then these little uh, symbols are added automatically. Let's, let's say you're not in the range. So this means you're either a young child or you're an adult. So this statement is asking, are you not a school-aged child? The second part of the statement then says, or the day is in the range of Saturday or Sunday. So that means it is the weekend. So this statement now says, are you not a school-aged child or it is one of the weekend days? So if it's a weekend, it's free to go, or you are not a school-aged child. So either one of those true is going to say no school for you. So let's have to reverse these statements. And uh, if it's either one of those is true, then you should be in school. Let's see if that works. Oh, you see, I got a, a problem. I put the explanation mark in the wrong spot. It should say here, not in the range. Let's try it again. Okay, so my age, let's go with 14, and it is Monday. And it says you should be in school. Good. Let's try a different age. Let's go to 21 and a Monday. And it says no school for you. So that's the age check. Now let's put in a valid age, 14, and let's put in Sunday, and no school for you. So it appears to be that those cases are working now. So since logic questions can become complex and hard to handle, there's actually a set of algebra that's called Boolean logic. And here's a website that allows us to solve these. So Let's put out this example here. So there's conditions. Uh, condition A would be things like, are you a school-age child? The B might represent another condition, such as, it is the weekend. And so if we had those things, we could say A, B. Put those together, that means A and B. Or A, and then the possibility of, um, I don't know, A or B. And so you do, um, looks to me like algebra, and then you can say go, and it will do a bunch of stuff that will say I can do a starting position, I apply the law of distribution through the parentheses, um, we've got some other laws, and then when we finally get to the end, it just says 
really the condition can be simplified to simply a. So b is irrelevant in the equation that I wrote. So Boolean logic has a whole class that you can take, but be aware that it exists and you'll eventually find yourself solving problems in logic much uh, in a much more structured way. In the next video, we're going to start working with what's called loops. And so we'll look at the while loop, which allows you to do counting and do multiple iterations of a condition, which makes, of course, a very powerful program. So we'll see you in just a moment with the while loop.